Can the new Z10 make BlackBerry sexy again? Well, let's ask an expert. We got Tim Stevens. He is the editor in chief of Engadget, and he's here on the set. Hello. So, I guess that's the one question, <laughs> isn't it? Can this Z10 make BlackBerry sexy? Well, I don't know. I don't want to say again, actually. Maybe just make second than sexy at all. It's debatable whether BlackBerry <laughs> was ever sexy in the first place. They did manage, though, to get this this kind of odd cultural mix between you know CEOs and, and also you know hip hop stars. It's an odd mix that they've managed to develop in the past. And mm. now, you know, I don't know that the Z10 itself is the phone that's going to make them hip. But you know, having people like Neil Gaiman and Alicia Keys signed on, help them promote their devices, I think that might actually help to m rebuild a little bit on the culture. Well, and those two, do those two really, you associate those with, with tech products? I mean, it, no, absolutely I mean, not. So, so how is that going to make them um, sexy? I mean, that's, a, that's an important question though, right? I, I mean, honestly, I, I think RIM would probably be well advised, or excuse me, BlackBerry would be well advised at, at this point to go after the people who really aren't that particularly tech savvy, the people who aren't that familiar with Android and iOS, maybe who haven't really updated their phone in a while and, and who will go to this new device and go wow this is pretty spectacular having never experienced that now th th this this new phone it, it's it's said to be pretty cool I, mean, I think the stock market's not reacting w well today yeah. um, and, and and the stock is down and we'll, we'll get to that a, a bit later mm -hmm. but BlackBerry has an installed base of users right right does this like act like glue does this keep the users from defecting yes it does which I think was the most important thing today mm -hmm. uh, that BlackBerry users are very excited for BlackBerry 10 and they should be it's a great operating system it it's really intuitive to use, mm -hmm. uh, and it's also very productivity focused, which is a strong, important thing for BlackBerry users. You know, it's very easy to get your email and to send messages and your calendar invites and things like that. That's always been the core of BlackBerry, and they haven't lost that with this new OS. So they've definitely kind of shored down the foundation of their users. Now, I, I know, um, I know this has a lot of apps on it and stuff. Is it right. does it go in the direction of of Android and? And um, the iPhone? Certainly more toward Android in terms of app selection. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of, I don't want to say junk, but a lot of low quality apps available right now. They talked about 70,000 apps. In fact, they then later up that up to 100,000 apps. But a lot of those are, are really nothing to get too excited about. There are a lot of big missing pieces like Netflix and Hulu, for example. But they do have Skype on there. They've got Dropbox and Facebook and Twitter and a lot of the other big important apps too. So it's a good start, but there's still ways to go. Now, now getting that, that installed base to keep coming back and maybe getting some people back who have defected. I mean, mm -hmm. I think uh, for, for a while, everyone who had a smartphone, it was it was a BlackBerry because right, yeah. it was the corporate um, sort of issue du jour. Yep, and you wear a clip your belt and it would blink all the time. Yeah. And, and that, that would be it. It would just choose this one or this right, one. And, yeah. and that was it. Did, does this get people to defect back? Maybe in small numbers, but it doesn't need many, does it? It certainly will. I think there are a lot of people who, who grew up with their Blackberries, who loved that physical QWERTY keyboard, who went to the iPhone and, and just have been a little bit frustrated with, with the typing experience. People are sending a lot of messages from their iPhones, I think, might have been a little bit frustrated with that typing experience. So they're looking for an opportunity to oh, go it's back. The, yeah, it's also correct, isn't it? That that's the frustrating thing. Uh, it can be very frustrating at times, but the keyboard is great on both the Z10 and the Q10, both devices. So I think that could be a, a strong draw for people. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Tim Stevens. You're making his debut on the new stuff here. Tim Stevens, editor of Engadget, and you can read more about the Z10 um, on WSJ.com.